Almost ended once. It is a story I need to tell before I grow too old to remember. It is a story of a man, some called a curse, and others called a hero. But a man they all called Death Spank. Death Spank is the first game in years from game designer Ron Gilbert. If you don't know who that is, well, he designed the Monkey Island games back in the 1990s. The game stars Death Spank, a self-proclaimed hero of the downtrodden. He's on a quest to find a mysterious artifact known only as the artifact. Greetings, Demon Witch Havenstens. I am Death Spank, hero to the downtrodden, vanquisher of evil, dispenser of justice, and I have come for the artifact. Uh, he doesn't know what it does or even what it looks like, but all he knows is that he wants it. Also, all the orphans from the local village have gone missing, and it's naturally it's an obvious task for our dispenser of justice to go find them. Uh, the game is a, a Diablo clone, which means tons of monster slaying and loot gathering. Um, you can equip up four weapons at once, one for each of the face buttons on your controller. Um, the weapons come in different varieties, like your normal standard swords, magic weapons that deal fire and ice damage and stuff like that. And finally, justice weapons, which, uh, when your justice meter is full, can just get, uh, unleash a powerful justice attack. Now, you fill your justice meter by uh, hitting enemies, and you fill it quicker by switching between weapons and chaining attacks together, which is a nice little touch that adds additional depth to the combat. Um, you also have a shield, and if you time your blocks right, your justice meter immediately fills up, uh, letting you unleash hell upon all the orcs and whatnot you fight during the game. Greetings, heroic-looking traveler. I am Deathspank. Yeah, me and the whole forest heard it when you were telling the demon witch. But uh, Deathspank isn't all about battle and bloodshed. There's also a bunch of puzzles, sort of reminiscent Greetings of the adventure games of the, of the early 90s. Um, for instance, you have to figure out how to turn white demon heads, white demon horns red, how to uh, find a missing sprocket for a large set of gears, or getting an angry couple back together. And they serve as small breaks between all the action and help set a nice uh, pace for the game. But what really sets Death Bank apart from a lot of other games is that it's genuinely funny from beginning to end. Um, everything from dialogue to characters to item descriptions to weapon names it's just chock full of jokes. Uh, the game pokes fun at all the mainstays of the role-playing genre and with weapon names like um, the Cleaver of Cleaving or the Epic uh, Boots of Awesomeness or the Gilded Shoulders of Bling. Um, and it's pretty much guaranteed to keep you laughing all the way through. Greetings, Demon Witch. I have your lips, Demon Witch. Well, not your lips. The lips you requested from the vicious chickens. And overall, Death Bank is a pretty great game. I do have a few minor gripes though, like the combat can get a little difficult at times and you'll die a lot playing it. But on the other hand, dying is such a, um, or the game is enormously forgiving, so dying isn't a very big deal. So that's that. And also, um, even though the voice acting is brilliant throughout, the voice of Death Bank, which is deliberately cheesy and over dramatic can become a little grating at times but these are minor issues the game as a whole uh, is really good you will get like eight to ten hours of entertainment out of it which is more than a lot of full price titles these days um, and at the price tag uh, 1200 Microsoft points and I think about 15 euro you know uh, you really can't beat that package so um, in conclusion yeah I'll highly recommend this game I can't can that, can I?